Let's finally talk about plugins. This is something that all the music production engineering junkies have always bugged me about uh, in regards to what plugins I like to use when mixing and just overall doing music production stuff when prepping for songwriting. One brand that I've started using really only, only recently is uh, by a company called JST or Joey Surges Tones. I like them because they're not your conventional plugin. A lot of plugins are like m trying to model some vintage hardware or some, some older piece of gear to get that sound. And I find with JST stuff, it's not exactly doing that. It's more focused on, on results than just trying to emulate something. I also really like the fact that it doesn't come loaded with a br bunch of presets. So you're not like tempted to just try out some other presets, it, it actually invites experimentation, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. For some of the plugins, you don't even need to really do anything. You could just place them on and they instantly work, which is a godsend in some cases. There are a ton of plugins on the JST website and they are almost all a valid piece in an engineer's arsenal but I'm going to go through what I consider to be a must-buy plugin, and that is the JST Gain Reduction plugin. This is one of those plugins where you could just place it on there and not touch it. It's kind of doing a bit of saturation, some compression, I think something in the EQ. I'm not really 100% sure, but it gives you like a clear uh, definition of what it's doing just by placing it on there. Uh, it's one of those things where it instantly takes effect and I find it's most useful when you're trying to make the vocals pop and instead of putting on like layers and layers of compression and EQ, I often just put this thing right at the top and it kind of handles all of that for me. So it, it kind of replaced a bunch of other stuff that I normally put in my vocal chain, which is uh, amazing as far as uh, my CPU usage goes. Here's what the vocal sounds like without the gain reduction plugin. Cover it up, cover it up, cover it all up now. Here it is with the gain reduction plugin. Cover it up, cover it up, cover it all up now. It also has a neat lo-fi mode, which is great for creating vocal tracks that need that effect. Cover it up, cover it up, cover it all up now. Just to talk a bit about a few other plugins really quick that I think are worth taking a look at by JST. Another plugin I really like to use is the Bus Mix Glue. I like it because it reminds me a bit of the SSL Master Bus Compressor. I like to use it on the end of my chain where all my drums are going through. As the name implies, it glues together your mix. It's got a few levels of compression which are great because it doesn't overwhelm you with choices and gives you very obvious results. The last plugin I'll talk about is the Finality plugin. It's basically an LA-2A compressor. There's two versions of the plugin, the Finality Lite, which is just the compressor plugin without a bunch of extra controls or functions. And then there's the advanced version of the plugin, which comes with a bunch of extra controls that'll help with taming aggressive volume levels, distortion, among other things. I highly recommend perusing the JST website to look at their plugins. I've learned a lot from Joey Sturgis' video tutorials and his plugins are often bundled together and go on sale quite often. If you are doing metal, his plugins are practically catered to the genre, but they do have their uses in other genres as well. Those are my thoughts on the JST plugins. If you have any questions or comments, please leave some below. I've left all relevant links in the description section below as well. Please hit the notification bell and the subscription button to stay notified whenever we drop another video. This is Lucas signing off.